Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research, and I'm here at the NRF show in New York, and I'm with Brian Bedford uh, from Cisco. Brian, what do you do for Cisco? Well, I'm the global industry director for retail, hospitality, and sports and entertainment. Yeah, well, that's a big job. That is. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of fun. I get to hang out with a bunch of cool people. Yeah, and uh, so we're here at the Cisco stand, and it's a big stand. What are you showing here? Well, the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway is that a lot of people don't realize that Cisco has its own Cisco tech lab what we call the Cisco store. And so we live retail every day. Um, we do about $3 million of business between two physical stores, travel show, travel stores, and then our omni-channel or digital presence. And it gives us an opportunity to showcase the best in class technology from Meraki to sensors to uh, WebEx Connect and, 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 and now Splunk. And so we're showcasing how we utilize that technology in our store. And so we've taken the store to New York City. So uh, let me get that, you do $3 million in just the Cisco stores. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, our you know we have customers, we have partners, we have employees that may want uh, memorabilia or uh, yeah. or logoed merchandise with one of our sponsors or anything like that. And so, it gives us an opportunity to trial things. Like we're living and breathing this. We're not just you know showing up to in New York with vaporware or yeah. products that don't work. Like we're applying everything you see here is deployed in our physical or digital stores that we have today. And then, how big is the retail vertical for Cisco? Well, it's sizable. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to disclose a big number here today, but you okay, can imagine it's, 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 yeah, 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 we'll probably both get in trouble. So let's yeah. not do that. Okay. But I can tell you it's sizable, right? Okay. One of our major industry uh, vertical areas here at Cisco. Um, and we have, you know, certainly uh, tens of thousands of customers worldwide uh, and, and certainly, you know, thousands of uh, ecosystem and partners that support us and make us effective each and every day. Okay, well I was going to ask you what you're showing here, but maybe it's better to show me. Yeah, let's wanna do, do it. Want to do a little tour? Let's do it. Okay, let's go to the first stop. Okay, Brian, well, we're here at the uh, WebEx Connect uh, portion of your booth. Uh, first of all, what is WebEx Connect? WebEx Connect, well, it's an AI intelligent engine, right? And what we're doing today is showcasing how people can order a coffee in the booth. So here, they can, uh, they can scan a, a simple QR code, and then they've got the ability to uh, order what they want. So we provided a, a simple menu here. It's got the intelligence to understand, do you want cream? Do you want milk? Do you want almond milk? Do you want a latte? Do you want an espresso? So all of that is done unattended. So again, we're building intelligence into the retail environment. We're allowing them to free up associate uh, experiences to do other things. And again, we're trying to go into the AI age, right, with intelligence yeah. that, you know, make it really user-friendly for anyone to do it. Again, you just have to have a smartphone, a simple click of a QR code. So when most people think of WebEx, they think of the meeting platform. Sure. Right? And it's a great meeting platform. Right. But this is the ability to embed WebEx chat capability into other applications. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So here we're really trying to automate the digital communication without an associate. Okay. And Connect is your CPaaS platform. That's exactly right. right. Cisco so, CPaaS. Yeah. And so maybe for people to understand what CPaaS is, those are cloud-based APIs, basically. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, you nailed it. And what other things can you do with Connect? Yeah, well, we're seeing guest experience. We're seeing people look at ticketing or interactions with associates. We're seeing uh, you know, uh, customer sentiment. There's all sorts of different examples where we're taking that, we're building that intelligence into that through AI. All right, well, WebEx, Connect, making ordering simpler. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's move on to the next station. Let's do it. Okay, Brian, well, we're at the station. It's labeled uh, wireless and video analytics. Uh, <laughs> what are you showing here? Well, there's actually two stations here. The first, obviously, before we get wireless and analytics, we got to capture it, we got to get data, right? So part of Cisco's story, there's probably two elements of it. Certainly, we've introduced Wi-Fi 7. That gives us lots of context. Uh, things like Cisco Spaces attached to it. It gives us the opportunity to really look at contextual experiences, blending that digital and physical experience. Also, got our cameras, right? Our MV product line, right? From a Meraki perspective, obviously best in class. We can look at footfall, we can look at traffic patterns, all those different things. So we take that information and then we apply it to our ecosystem. People that are looking for gender breakdown, they're looking for age breakdown. We can look at traffic patterns in uh, our booth or in our store. We can understand what why people are have certain behavior. Are they going up and picking up an item and leaving it? Did they, you know, uh, so those are the types of intelligence that we can get from our Meraki platform. 
And so, again, when we think Meraki, again, we're thinking cameras, we're thinking SD-WAN, yeah. all of those types of things. That's what we're showcasing here. Okay, and all this is in the Meraki dashboard. And Absolutely, and all of it in the dashboard. And then what's happened is, in, in, in this case, we have an ecosystem partner called Every Angle. They've taken that, built in, they've leveraged the data that comes from the, the Meraki dashboard, right? And they're able to build really some interesting intelligence, right, that are applicable to store operations, the, the areas that fall maybe outside of IT. So again, we're blending kind of IT and store operations when we think about retail. Okay, and you mentioned Cisco Spaces. For those not familiar with Spaces, what is Spaces? Well, Spaces is is uh, is really, uh, think of it as a, a captive portal, think of it as contextual experience of physical uh, wayfinding, uh, all of those things built into you know asset tracking, all of that is really the contextual element of um, a guest or a fan or whatever experience you're looking for. So we've built it into our Wi-Fi 7 platform. It's been standalone yeah. previously. That's what Cisco Spaces is. And how's the interest in Wi-Fi 7 been? Well, I think everybody's trying to think through new use cases. What's uh, uh, what, what's that experience going to be like for our guests and our customers? I think the blending or the experience between our Wi-Fi access, access points plus spaces is interesting. Yeah. I was meeting with a customer earlier today and they said, this gives you now the opportunity to see why Wi-Fi? Like, what yes. can you do it? How can you monetize? How can you engage? How can you make more predictable decisions? Um, how can you operate the buildings or the venues or whatever better? So. Overall, just in general, that that's where I think we're trying to change the game. Yeah, I'll tell you something. That 20, that 60 gigahertz spectrum. Uh, for those who haven't tried it, it's game changing. Game changing. I, I can't believe how fast it is. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, so on to the next station. On to the next one. All right. All right well, we're here at the Splunk station. Now, Splunk, massive acquisition. From absolutely. Cisco, but a year ago, uh, biggest acquisition in Cisco's history. Yep. Uh, a lot of questions about uh, Splunk. Uh, like, how are you integrating with the rest of Cisco? So, uh, how's you, how do you use it in retail environments? Yeah, well, I think that we get that question a lot, and I think this is the first time that, for a number of reasons, we're really showcasing Splunk integrated into both Meraki dashboards and some of the other uh, intelligence. You'll see behind us here, we started with ordering a coffee, right, with CPaaS. We've integrated that into a Splunk dashboard here. We can see order time, cancellations, did you not pick, did you pick up your order, did you not pick up your order? We can understand who's in line, how many orders are in process, and how many have been completed. So today, three over 300 coffees given out, ZK, you gotta get a, you gotta get a coffee gotta before, get a you, coffee, yeah. before you leave. Um, but in addition to that, we're also able to give other insights from a, the building, from an intelligence perspective, right? So as we switch this, you'll get an idea of seeing, we can understand sensor data, camera data, wireless security, and we can make that intelligence. So it's bringing that observability, that security, forward to ease operations. So if you think about it in retail, you've got lots of deployments that are happening, right? You could be having a full rollout, maybe a thousand stores or 500 locations. How do you get visibility? How do you troubleshoot? How do you create predictability into that? And so that's really changing the narrative and the conversation we're having in retail now. Yeah, and uh, uh, so when you think about what Splunk gives you, it's this massive amount of data. Absolutely. Then you combine that with the observability data, the Meraki data you showed me, yep. with data from WebEx. Uh, how, when you think about every retailer here, in fact, go around the show, everything's AI based, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, how much are your retailer customers talking about the data platform that Cisco has now? Yeah, they all are. I think they're they're trying to make sense of how to how to how to use it, how to make informed decisions, uh, how to how to create predictability into their operation, and then really how to ease the retail operation, right? Because they don't have IT staff in every location, so how do we use that data to make informed consent decisions? Yeah, and so I've heard uh, G G2 Patel, your yep. new head of product, say um, uh, data is the new gold yep. right, or the new oil. Go. And if that's the case, I think Cisco Arbol has more infrastructure related to data than anybody. So, yeah, and yeah. I think it's, it's you know, I, I had a conversation yesterday with one of our top customers in, in the Middle East, and their conversation were, was how do we maximize that? How do we leverage that? How do we make intelligent decisions? How do we take the core Cisco and Meraki stack, right? Now with cameras, what, what do we do with all this? And, and so as we showed them Splunk, they, their, their eyes widened as they're starting yeah. to think about all the different use cases and how they can model that uh, into their uh, environments. Yeah, well indeed, okay, well that's good to see. Uh, Splunk, now a Cisco company, but not only that, the data a core part of the Cisco platform. Absolutely, and yeah. we're integrating it. Everything you see here, built and data coming right off of Meraki, yeah. so 
uh, the the future's bright as far as well the product integrations can 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 be had. All right, Brian. Anything else you want to talk about here? Well, listen. You got to get a coffee. I got to get a coffee. Tons of deep dives here, um, and uh, we're we're glad you're with us this week. Yeah. No, I'm uh, glad to stop by. Thanks a lot for the little mini tour of the Cisco uh, Cisco store, and uh, I'm hoping to see more of this stuff at other retailers. Yeah, absolutely. So, so. All right. Um, so on that note, I have for Brian Bed from Cisco MZ, is Caraval from ZK Research, uh, saying thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you give us a like and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. I'm the next episode of Zcast. Thanks, Brian. Yep. Thank you. Thanks.